Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Collins Family Urban Homestead. My name is Larry. Today, I've got to take this garden bed here, and projects are, it needs to get filled up with compost. But before that, i got to take all the weeds and stuff out of here, but there's also a few different things that I want to transplant out of, out of here as well. And a couple of things that we're just going to go harvest and uh, get rid of. So let me turn you around and kind of give you a close up, close up of what's going on. So for starters, we've got some Swiss chard here. That's some foot uh, Swiss chard that's about a year old. And then I've got this uh, red stem Swiss chard. Last summer, this whole area was filled up with uh, Swiss chard and most of it died this winter. This stuff actually survived the winter and the hard and the freezes that we had. Not a whole lot. And then, but unfortunately, this is slated for tomatoes, so this stuff is going to all have to come out today. And the rest of the garden, we've got a lot of weeds going on here, but the other thing we do have, let's see if we can get you in here, that's lettuce. We've got a couple of volunteer lettuce plants here that have come up that I'm going to try to transplant. So I need to remove the Swiss chard and transplant those lettuce plants, fill this bed up with um, compost, and then I've got this second bed over here that's kind of got the same thing going on. Nothing I need to harvest, but it's actually also got some lettuce. Uh, let me show you some of that. And that one there in the corner is a lettuce. This one right here is a lettuce. I thought there was a third one. That may be all I've got there. Uh, so we've got two beds I need to get taken care of today to kind of get ready for the gardening season. So come along on the journey and uh, we'll see what all happens today, or this weekend anyway. I don't know if this will all happen today, so come along for the journey.
Okay, I don't know if you can see in there real well, but that looks like six different lettuce plants that uh, I'm going to go transplant to a different location. So let's go over there. Okay, so let's see about filling this bucket with uh, some lettuces. All right, gotta love a volunteer garden, right? Everything just came up on seed on its own. It just wasn't in the right location. So, moves over here, and we'll follow along with this as the season goes. So, let's go get busy on the other stuff. Okay, so just a note on these tubs, these are what's called self-wicking tubs. There's a um, water reservoir in the bottom, a little bit of air space so that the plants, the idea is they suck the water up from the bottom. I did a top watering initially just to kind of give them their initial feeding and then fill the tube up, to fill the reservoir up at the bottom and uh, they should be able to get water up and drink it up as they need. So. That's this, and let's move on to some of the other beds.
So this is pretty interesting. This is Swiss chard. Look at the size of root that's on that. Now I know they're from beets. Their roots kind of look like beets also. Check out this one. Let me turn that around and give you a better photo of that. That is massive. These others are pretty pretty good size as well. This kind of shows It just kind of shows the uh, root structure that Swiss chard has. Pretty massive root structure. So let me go get those in the house and uh, we'll come back to you. So this is, Swiss chard is something that I grew for the first time last year. And this is kind of one of those things we realized we are not used to using Swiss chard. It's not a regular thing on our menus. And so we have to get into the habit of actually using it on a regular basis. I know I've used it for greens with eggs in the morning. Uh, it's been my primary way of using it. But um, it's kind of one of the things I want to do down the road. Uh, probably won't even be this year, maybe in the fall time frame is, as I get into growing other greens and stuff like that on different ways you can use them. Let me get back to you. Had to go ahead and let the train go by. That was a pretty long train too, so one of the adventures of having a train in your backyard. So yeah, that's one of the things we want to do down the road is as we grow different things, I kind of want to see how they're actually used in the kitchen and try to get some different ideas on how to use them. Um, so that was the thought last year. I knew last year like I grew Malabar spinach. I ended up wasting a bunch of that because we just never used it. Swiss chard, there was a lot of it we could have used that we just didn't, um, you know, different things like that. And so this year is more fo focused on production with, uh, I'm going to do primarily tomatoes and green beans because we want to do some canning and then onions and garlic are going to take up the garden for the mo most of the year this year. So anyway, uh, let me get back to, back to it. Uh, we've got other stuff to get done and we'll see where we go from here some of those greens to the ducks they look like they are enjoying them they can be kind of finicky sometimes when it comes to what they're eating yeah they don't like me being that close and of course i gave the chickens a whole lot of them there i even one batch earlier and that stuff's already all gone so and yeah, the birds definitely like the uh the extra uh, food and stuff there so we'll get back to you so I was just curious so kind of wanted to take a look here and see just how much greens is how much how much this stuff weighs so let's go take a look and see how much it weighs I'm kind of letting some of the water drain out of it right up in oh look it's a bouquet of greens let's see if we can get a weight on this one-handed Turn that back on again. Four pounds, seven ounces of greens. Take out the uh, weight of the container, say four pounds of greens. Let's say four pounds of greens with that. So, uh, not bad for a winter's harvest of just cleaning stuff out. Okay, so now the real work begins. I gotta take all of that back there, and I gotta move that all the way to the backyard. Wheelbarrowing it over is not the problem, it's the shoveling it into the wheelbarrow. So, let's get on with that task.
road one. A lot more to go. full wheelbarrow full I got maybe a half if that left so let's go uh, put this one in and see how full the beds are Okay, so I just gotta go get that last little bit, fill it up, and you can see that bed's full and this bed's full. I'll get that done, and then it should take care of uh, what I specifically wanted to get done this weekend. So let me close out this video a little bit later. We'll be back to you. Well, that pretty much takes care of my garden beds. Uh, for today. I've got them both filled up, ready to go. Um, I'll fill one of them up with tomatoes. The other I may plant a bunch of radishes first and then come back sometime after Easter and fill it up with green beans. Um, that's kind of the plan. We'll take you on that a little bit farther down the road. I'm hoping to find some Amish paste tomatoes, either that or San Marzano. I want some Roma type tomatoes to go in the, uh, the big bed there. So we're going to do that. Also, this is the other bed that's already planted. With, uh, I've got some parsley, some gar gar garlic, some parsley. <laughs> Let me try that again. I've got some parsley, some garlic, and some onions. Onions are doing pretty good down there. So that's already planted out and uh, we'll do so. That's the gardening for today. Had a great weekend. Hope you have a great week. God bless.
we'll see you in the next video.